been in activism for a couple of years, so it is still still new to this uh, largely. But the, the most mystical experience that I would probably describe is when I started engaging with psychedelics, which had yeah. a pretty big impact on my life at one point. And I think for the better, I think it actually made me much more naturalistic. It made me, I think it gave me the final push to go vegan as well. It oh, made, yeah. We're trying to get on the ballot. It's a proposed ballot measure for the November 2022 statewide general election in Oregon it would criminalize killing and breeding animals in the state of Oregon outright. They're really trying to push what we are going for, not just incremental change, but there, there's only a certain number of states in the U.S. that actually have the ballot measure process. So you draft up this legal language and you go out and you get signatures. At the When we have longer conversations with them, they can start to hear more about the long-term effects. We don't usually lead with that because our, our goal is to get on the yeah. ballot. We think once we get on the ballot and we're asking people, you know, almost 3 million registered voters in a very formal way, like this would criminalize killing animals. That's going to have a big impact. We're not really trying to engage in individual outreach with everyone who signs. We have to get yeah. 112,000 signatures. So we're really trying to just get signatures as quickly as possible, not necessarily telling them all up front, like this is going to criminalize killing animals. Obviously, when you kill them for farming, you have to injure them. And when yeah. you hunt them, you injure them. If we get on the ballot, the way it'll be written is whether we criminalize the intentional injuring and killing and breeding of animals for really any purpose other than self-defense and veterinary care. So it would be very radical initiative. That's why I think changing the law is going to be so important because there are a lot of people, and this goes back to my family, how I sort of joke that their worldview is based off of sitcoms. I think it's sitcoms and the law. I think both yeah, of those, yeah. <laughs> like what, what society is telling them to view as normal or legal or right and wrong is just from from those areas because and so yeah. if, if people we, really say that this is something we need to end why would we just want to end it in oregon the goal is not to just stop in oregon the goal is to end it everywhere and this is just a starting point 